Hi, welcome back to the Sue and Sock Homes Day video channel. In this video I'd like to talk some more about tomatoes, my Uncle Leo's tomatoes in particular. I've sprouted some more from seeds, they've grown up and I've planted them in a circular pattern in the garden here. And I've just constructed a bamboo teepee for them to climb up. So I'll walk you through the process of planting the tomatoes and preparing the bamboo for the teepee and building that structure. And I'd like to give a shout out to Daryl, thanks very much for your comment on my video a few weeks ago suggesting that I build a teepee in my garden. So I've just done that, I've taken that idea and run with it. I actually had a circular area in the garden here that was just available and totally appropriate for building the teepee. So I've planted the tomatoes like that and we'll enjoy watching them grow up the teepee and then of course most of all enjoy harvesting them. Initially I've planted these seeds in small containers and a little area just outside our kitchen that it doesn't get too much sun but it's not totally shaded either and then once I've sprouted and are looking a bit stronger I've taken them upstairs onto our porch and put them in an area there that does get a bit more sun but we've got it covered and it just allows us to keep a really good eye on them and keep them well watered and so they've grown up nice and strong there and I guess a couple of weeks ago now I put them in the ground and they are growing well. A couple of them got trampled by a rogue cow that came to visit my vegetable garden the other day. I'm quite happy that I was here to be able to chase it off and uh, nonetheless though it managed to stomp on a couple of these tomatoes so I might have to replace a couple of those so that we don't have any gaps. I'm heading over to the land next to us that we help take care of for our absentee neighbours to uh, get a bit of bamboo today. They've got some growing over here that is uh, better than ours for a task that I have in hand and that is to make some trellis for my tomatoes to grow up or more correctly a bamboo teepee that I'm going to make for them to grow up. So I'm coming over here which is a bit of a wilderness. It uh, used to be a lumyai lumyai orchard, a long gan orchard and I've uh, cut most of those trees out uh, which I'm uh, using making good use of what was left behind. The guys that came and cut them cleared most of it away for firewood to sell but they've left quite a bit of it here there's one just here and there's quite a bit of good wood in there that'll be useful for making pizzas in our pizza oven so I've been uh, cutting that up and making use of that it's nice and dry it's nice and hard so it burns really well but I'm um, uh, Today I have a different purpose, so I'm going to come over. They've got some bamboo. It's pretty tall, um, but more importantly, it's not as chunky as not as thick and heavy as the bamboo that we've got growing. I don't want to cut too much off because I want it to really fill out and fill in the gaps. And uh, so then I uh, am coming over here to make use of some of this bamboo that otherwise will just keep sort of growing and dying. There's already a few pieces that are cut and died. So here it is. It's just a, a small clump of it there. There's some more just across the other side of canal and my wife's told me that that'd be okay to cut too because that's kind of a no man's land over there. They send a backhoe down to clear the canal once a year and the uh, owners of the rice fields across the way there uh, quite happy when the backhoe, I've, asked, I've actually seen them asking the backhoe to smash down some of the bamboo because it shades their rice fields too much so I'm sure nobody will be minding if I'm over there cutting some of that but first of all I'm going to cut a few of these pieces down, drag them across to our place, trim them down, cut them to size and build ourselves a bamboo teepee for our tomatoes to grow up. Wow, wow. 
Hey, not you backing yet. Hey. You're backing me. I've cut my lengths into about 3.6 metre lengths and I've cleaned them up and now I've chosen three of the thickest, strongest ones to be the main structure for my teepee and then I'll add the others as I see fit. I'm not sure I haven't done this before so I'll just uh, use them to fill it out to get the best looking and structurally sound teepee that I can to grow my tomatoes up. I've got some older pieces that had been cut previously and dried and were just sitting over there so I thought I'd bring those back but I'm not sure if I'll use those, I'll see if I need them or not. So I'm going to give myself a good arm's length or more of that initially to come under and around my three poles. I've got two parallel and then one coming across that to build the structure. Bring it around again and then bring my short end under so to create a clove hitch. Bring it tight so that's nice and tight now and that will self tighten and now I'm wrapping the rope around all three of the poles two or three times and then just around this top pole I'll wrap it around bring it underneath again and one more time and bring it under and that'll tighten up hello peepee -pee. so now it should be good enough to lift it up and take it over to the area where I'm going to construct the teepee where I've already planted my tomatoes.
So here's my basic TP structure sorted out. It's standing, it's pretty rigid. I've got an opening here that I'll use for the door so I can get inside to pick the tomatoes when they're ripe. But before we get to that stage, I've got to grow and I've got to have a bit more to climb up. So I'm going to tie some twine around and around to create more of a frame for them to climb up and hopefully that'll be sufficient. If it's not, then I've got some bamboo slats cut and I will make use of these later on, but I'll, I'll only add those if I need to. So here's my first experiment with a tomato teepee. Hopefully I'll be able to grow an abundance of delicious Uncle Leo's tomatoes to hang down and easily pick the fruit from inside the teepee. I've also got some silver beet growing in here. I think that should be safe enough. It'll be ready to pick by the time the tomatoes grow up and shade it too much. And so now my next step will be to go and plant some more seeds for Uncle Leo's tomatoes because I'm going to try and keep growing them right throughout the year. I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope you're inspired to spend more time in your garden. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs>